Hello students, this is 1.92. A chain of mass m forming a circle of radius r is uh, slipped on a smooth round cone with half angle theta. Find tension of the chain if it rotates with a constant angular velocity omega about a vertical axis coinciding with the symmetric axis of the cone. So first consider the diagram for this problem. Let this is the cone. And uh, there is a circle of a mass in the cone and this circle of a mass is revolving about its axis and the axis concedes with the axis of the cone so if omega angular speed is revolved then this chain will get externally a centrifugal force if we look at the chain ke point of frame se dekhe, ji ke observer, as observed by chain as observed by the revolving frame uh, observer is placed on a revolving chain so we consider pseudo I have always that pseudo if you consider it, you will be able to explain it easily so consider that observer is placed on revolving chain I mean that the chain is placed on the frame pe hi observer placed hai. so according to the point of view of observer there will be some centrifugal force on the chain at every point of the chain Besides it, if we consider this chain particular element ka diagram consider a diagram for a segment, ke liye normal reaction is surface ka kuch angle and the horizontal angle and the horizontal angle is semi-vertical angle, hai, it is theta is given so this will be 90 minus theta, so definitely this will become theta so components of this normal reaction will be n cos theta and n sin theta. Here, keep in mind that in normal reaction, I am not considering the whole chain. In the chain, I am considering a small segment, which is the mass dm. In that small segment, I have normal reaction in the diagram. And in that small segment, the mass mg downward act. Then, I mass dm g downward act. But in that small segment, the mass mg downward act. How much mass is it? We will further discuss it. And if the revolving frame is our observer placed it, so this small segment dm for a centrifugal force output would outward act over and the value will be dm r omega square so if uh, this chain is revolving with omega angular speed then centrifugal for a small segment of the chain will be dm r omega square n cos theta will be outward but n sin theta will be upward and since no friction force is there so the only force which maintain which is maintaining these two forces in this diagram is the tension of the chain so why tension we calculate karna is chain ke tension se aap samajh sakte hain ki iske particles jis force se ek dusre ko apni or kheech rahe hain use tension bola ja raha hai to maan lijiye is chain ka jo tension hai it means this is the force exerted by any particle to the other particle jo is chain ke har particle pe act hoga wo is circle pe tangency react karega aur is tension ka jo component inward act karega वही कंपोनेंट इस डायग्राम में n cos theta और dmr omega square को बैलेंस करेगा तो इस बात को समझने के लिए क्लियरली कि वो इनवर्ड फोर्स क्या है हम इस चेन को अलग से एक डायग्राम में ले रहे हैं मान लीजिए ये चेन ये है r रेडियस का सर्कल तो अगर हम इस चेन का छोटा सा सेगमेंट कंसीडर करें जिसका मास हमने dm बोला है तो इस पर टेंजेंशियली एक्ट करेगा टेंशन चेन का टेंशन ही कैलकुलेट किया जाना है so if this small angle is alpha, let the angle of this small part measured at the center is alpha, then this will be alpha by 2 on both the sides. So component of this tension will be T cos alpha by 2 and T sin alpha by 2 inward. And from the second extreme of this chain, these two components will be there. So 2T cos alpha, 2T sin alpha will be there and T cos alpha will be acted there also. So, if we take a different diagram of this chain, then for the small segment, we will cancel the two t cos alpha by 2 t cos alpha by 2 and 2 t sin alpha by 2 in the direction of this 2 t sin alpha by 2 will be this as shown in the diagram. So, in this diagram, the inner arrow is the inner arrow of this chain. So, we will represent this 2 t sin alpha by 2 force. So, this diagram is the inner arrow of this chain. So, this diagram is the inner arrow of this chain. So, this diagram is the inner arrow of this chain. Alpha 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 is the inner arrow of this chain. तो अगर इस पूरे डायग्राम के इक्विलिब्रियम को देखा जाए तो ये t cos alpha by 2 t cos alpha by 2 इक्वल में बैलेंस है अगर इस डायग्राम का 3D समझे तो ये एक सर्किल कोन के सरफेस पे प्लेस्ड है 
इसके टेंशन का कॉस अल्फा कंपोनेंट कैंसिल्ड है डी कॉस अल्फा बाई टू टी कॉस अल्फा बाई टू और टू टी साइन अल्फा बाई टू कंपोनेंट आउटवर्ड लगने वाले इन दो फोर्सेस को बैलेंस करेगा और एन साइन अल्फा डी एम जी को बैलेंस करेगा यानी जो जो इक्वेशन बनेंगी वो थ्री डी कवर करेंगी जो इक्वेशन उस रिंग के सेंटर इनवर्ड और आउटवर्ड बनेगी वो इक्वेशन होगी टू टी साइन अल्फा बाई टू इज इक्वल टू एन कॉस थीटा प्लस डी एम जी डी एम आर ओमेगा दिस इज द इक्वेशन अलॉन्ग द डायरेक्शन ऑफ सेंटर इन दिस लाइन द इक्वेशन विल बी दिस सेकेंड इक्वेशन विल बी अपवर्ड एंड डाउनवर्ड दैट इक्वेशन बैलेंस इज एन साइन थीटा विद डी एम जी so that n sin theta will be dmg yahan par dhyan rahe n is not normal reaction of the whole chain it is the normal reaction of a small segment of the chain whose tensor we are considering to ye baat bilkul yaad rakhenge is chain jab ye omega angular speed se revolve karegi to iske kisi bhi particle ka dusre particle ka tension same hoga to hum kisi ek chote se segment ke liye is tension ko calculate kar sakte hain to inward and outward direction mein ye balance banega vertically upward and downward ye balance banega and in third direction it is perpendicular it is tangential direction so along tangent these two forces are balanced already so there is no need to make third equation only two equations are needed so value of n from this equation is dmg by sin theta so first equation will become 2t sin alpha by 2 it is 2t sin alpha by 2 equal to uh, dmg dm mass into gravity and sin theta in denominator so it will become cot theta fir se dekhen n is dmg by sin theta and cos is already there so it is dmg cot theta plus dm plus r omega square this is the equation t is dm by alpha g cot theta plus r omega square now the mass of this small part will be total mass of the chain divided by total circumference 2 pi r into that particular length this length definitely will be r alpha so it is r alpha by alpha is there so g cot theta plus r omega square into mass of this small segment this will be total mass by total circumference into length of this particular segment that is angle is equal to r upon radius says r ki length r alpha niklegi aur alpha pehle se hi yahan par hai alpha is cancelled to alpha r is cancelled to r it is m by 2 pi g cot theta plus r omega square so this is the tension at every particle of the chain so this is the value of tension ek bar clearly samjhe is question ke 3d ko solve karo thank you